Welcome back to the Survival Guide. Today we're going to talk about steroids in COVID-19. And I'm going to put my hands on my head because this is what I have been looking like while I'm trying to research and study what to do for my COVID-19 patients and whether or not I should give them steroids. It is really difficult to understand where to give steroids, when to give steroids, and how to make a video about steroids in COVID-19. So uh, we'll do our best. Here's what we know so far. Patients with COVID-19, as they get sicker, they develop the acute respiratory distress syndrome, ARDS. We also know that certain levels of inflammatory markers like CRP, ferritin, D-dimer, increase in certain patients that have COVID-19 disease. We believe some of this is driven by interleukin-6, IL-6, which is a driver of inflammation in the body. So when patients are starting to get sicker, when you're seeing infiltrates on imaging and inflammatory markers going up, the question has arisen, what about steroids? Or is there a role for steroids in my patient? An early concern is that if we give steroids too soon, when the virus is high and replicating in the body, that we might expedite or increase viral replication, and that would be bad. On the counter, if we wait and give steroids too late, when someone has severe ARDS and they're proning and they're developing fibrosis of the lungs, maybe we didn't give it soon enough. In between these two opposite ends of the disease course, there may be a spot where steroids may help your patient. So you may ask, okay, Dr. Carlos, what is that spot? When would you give steroids and how would you give steroids? Well, as I researched this topic, I went back to look at the literature to see what's been published about steroids at all for ARDS. And I believe one of the most compelling papers was just recently published in March of 2020. It was from The Lancet, and it showed in patients that are not otherwise needing steroids and have ARDS, there may be a role for dexamethasone to help quell the inflammation going on in their lungs. The investigators looked at 17 different centers in Spain. They uh, randomized these patients. They made sure they were really sick with ARDS. Their P to F ratio had to be less than 200. They afforded the doctors 24 hours to optimize the patient with all the other strategies. They selected out patients that were on PEEP of at least 10. So this was a specific group of ARDS patients, not already on steroids, uh, to see whether they would benefit from dexamethasone. The protocol they used was 20 milligrams of dexamethasone daily for five days, followed by 10 milligrams daily for the next five days. The outcomes were good. They showed decreased mortality as shown here in the survival curve. They also saw increase in blood sugars, hyperglycemia, and a tendency to increase in infections. So what does this mean for COVID-19? Well, right now we don't have data on steroids in COVID-19, although we're trying to gather it. We have different societies giving different recommendations. The Society of Critical Care Medicine as of today is saying to consider it when you have ARDS from COVID-19 with a P to F less than 200. The Infectious Disease Society of America is saying avoid steroids in COVID-19. And the NIH has not uh, said exactly what to do. So the questions I'm getting is, Dr. Carlos, okay, since we're getting conflicting pieces of uh, advice, what do you do? <laughs> How do you manage your patients? Well, I've chosen to adopt the DEXA ARDS uh, guidelines as, as was shown in this Lancet paper that we reviewed. I'm doing that because uh, the dose is not super high. This is not pulse dose steroids. I'm doing that because we have evidence of steroid benefit in ARDS. And I'm doing it because I have seen in my patients decreases in inflammatory markers, improvement in ARDS with the initiation of steroids. I believe the timing here though is crucial. I'm not giving steroids to all my patients with COVID-19. I'm not even giving steroids to all my patients on the ventilator with COVID-19. I'm intentionally every day looking at their infiltrates, their inflammatory markers, their PaO2 to FiO2 ratio. Are we dealing with a concomitant infection? If so, I might avoid steroids if they have another infection. But if they don't have another infection, if blood sugars are under good control and they have signs of this cytokine storm or rising inflammation with ARDS, I'm using the DEXA ARDS protocol right now. I'm enrolling these patients in registry so that we, this can be tracked so that we know in the future what benefit this may have on our patients. Thank you for watching the Critical Care Survival Guide and considering this for your patients. Please do subscribe and check out more videos.